evening, Patnish. You're fine. I'm probably a little bit far away. <laughs> you're, you're fine. I hope you are doing well tonight. Uh, my name is Matt Williamson. Go ahead and introduce yourself um, to everyone. I'm Peyton Engel. All right, and you are watching Married to College Esports. So tonight we have our Smash team back once again. Competing in the NACE Star League Varsity Plus competition. They're going to be going up against Glenville State University. We're getting things set up in the lobby right now. And yeah, we should be starting up very soon. Mm -hmm. So while we're waiting for that, let's go over a couple of things. So first of all, let's go over who will be competing for tonight. In no particular order, uh, we have uh, sophomore Ryan Boggs, Kinker Dinku playing. Uh, he was not able to play last week, but he did help commentate the, the match, but he will be playing tonight. Mm -hmm. uh, we will have uh, sophomore Zach Lane, the lead playing. We will have, I can, the text is too small for me see. Yeah, sophomore Mackenzie McDonald. Anavia? I, I Inava. Inava. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm yeah. never going to get that right. It's all right. I'm sorry. It takes, it takes I, a little bit. Inava. Okay, the, the, I think of the, the A is silent. That's how yeah. I'm going to do it. Inava is playing. And then we have our captain, freshman Mason Rice Cheshire playing. And then, of course, we have our head coach, Derek Games. Mm -hmm. All right, that's right. Since it is NACE, it is a 4v4 crew battle instead of the 3v3 that we are seeing in the GLDC, uh, which, as a reminder, the Smash team will be back on Saturday. You're going to have a double header, actually. Oh, uh, boy. Yeah, so yeah, the Smash <laughs> team will be playing against Bethel at uh, Bethel University at 10 a.m., and then they'll be playing against Mount Vernon Nazarene University at 11 a.m. So if you love watching these matches, please be sure to... Continue watching today's match, <laughs> but also uh, come by Saturday morning to, to watch the Pioneers compete there as well. Mm -hmm. All right, so let's go over a couple of quick announcements. So first, we do want to give a shout out to our uh, friends over at HyperX. They are the official peripheral sponsor of Marietta College Esports. They have provided our facility with keyboards, mice, headsets, uh, mouse pads, microphones, uh, our students love them. The, the audio quality is amazing. We're using one of their quadcast mics right now. So if you're wondering, oh, that is very crisp and clear audio that we're hearing. It is big thanks to HyperX. So if you want to get your own HyperX gear, please be sure to go to hyperx.gg slash Marietta ES. The QR code is up on the screen for just a few more seconds. You got one more second to check the code? All right, we're going to move on to the next one, but mm -hmm. thanks again to HyperX. I uh, also want to give a shout out to Over the Moon Pizza for their support. So on Tuesdays, they have their Married to College night. So uh, Married to College students can go there uh, on Front Street to get great deals on pizza, drinks, and other stuff. They'll have a, a Switch up there and play some Smash, some Mario cards. They'll air our matches if we're streaming a match live. Or they'll just play stuff from YouTube. And I think you guys went there last year, right? Yeah, we went there um, a lot last semester. It was a really good time. The pizza was amazing. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, definitely support them. Yeah, they have some good... They have amazing brownies. Oh, the brownies yes. are also amazing, They, they really too. do. Yeah. So, yeah, so thank you over the moon for your support. But definitely go check them out on Front Street. Uh, also, we want to take a minute just to thank you guys for your support during our day of giving the other day. Uh, we stream. It was supposed to be a 12-hour stream. Turned out to be a 15-hour stream because we did have a bonus Pokemon game uh, afterwards. Uh, it was a lot of fun. Smash Team did their World of Light Nuzlocke, which is yeah. very entertaining oh, yeah. to watch. But you guys really came through. 25 people gave to the program. We raised $1,115. Now, you might be thinking, yeah, that's a little short from our $8,000 goal. But this is a great start because technically we did raise more than this. Um, I didn't get a chance to tell the entire team this, but there was a competition among the athletic varsity teams of which team can have the highest alumni participation. Oh, it's wow. not about the amount raised, it's the number of donors. And because esports only has a small number of alumni, it didn't take a few, didn't take many to win the competition. So esports won, and we received an extra one thousand dollars. So thank you to our esports alumni who participated in the day of giving event. So we raised over two thousand dollars. So thank you so much for that. We are, I mean, there are still opportunities to help support our program. So just because we had a day of giving does not mean it has to be the only day of giving. So you can still continue to help uh, achieve our goals to get some more facilities. 
I know we're working on trying to get the Smash team set up with another Switch and some controllers. I think we can make that happen. So we're going to work on that. Can't wait. But, uh, yes, thank you so much for your support. And we'll have some more stuff in the long run. I think we're going to be looking at possibly a Smash tournament in March sometime. So Ooh, I think yeah, that that'll be, be fun. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. Yeah, but, great way to test our skills. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But, okay, so I'm checking. I don't... I didn't get a chance to see if Glenville State has joined the lobby yet. Uh, I don't. I didn't see it either. I know right now they're trying to consider which map they're going to choose. Right. Well, I think there's still a, a pick band process, so they might be that is doing true. that in yeah. the um, the match chat. So they're probably still. Yeah, I'm, mm -hmm. I'm looking at the camera right now. Mason's uh, still talking to Derek, so I think they're going over the yeah. the map picks and bands. So we will see uh, what they're picking. Mm -hmm. So in the meantime, we'll go over a few more announcements since we have a little bit of extra time. Yeah. So we are always looking for more students for our eSports program. Whether you are a current Marina College student or you're a high school senior, we have varsity titles in Fortnite, uh, League of Legends, Overwatch 2, Rainbow Six Siege, Rocket League, who just had their match earlier against Mountain Union, Smooper Smash Brothers, of course, mm -hmm. and Valorant. And we are always considering other varsity titles. Uh, I know there's been some questions about Call of Duty. I am not officially announcing Call of Duty, but I will say that we are considering it. If we get enough people interested, I would love to get a Call of Duty up and running. But our program has grown immensely over the years. We have our dedicated facility here at the Gathering Place on campus. We have several coaches. So not only do we have our head coach, Derek Games, but we also have coaches for several of our titles. We're always looking for coaches for some of our others. I, I know the Smash team would love to have a dedicated coach. Oh, yeah. We're working on it. <laughs> uh, we do try to provide support for our students, so we want to see success not only in the esports, but also in academics and other endeavors. Uh, and there are scholarships available for high school seniors and college transfers. So for more information, you can go to link, our link tree at linktr.ee slash Marietta Esports. It has links to all of our social media channels. It has... Uh, the inquiry form so if you're interested in learning more about an esports program you can fill out our recruit me form you can fill out the form to schedule a trial you can even fill out the form to schedule a discord call with our head coach to learn more about our esports program so go check that check that out linktr.ee slash marietta esports speaking of scholarships yes you heard that right we do offer scholarships for high school seniors and college transfers I can't give it to current students. I'm sorry. They, they, I tried. They won't let me. Well, yeah. there's always next time. Yeah. <laughs> well, we just got to win some tournaments that have some cash prizes, and you guys uh, can get some money that way. Yeah, there we go. But that'll help us out. We do offer scholarships, and that does require a tryout. We are doing tryouts this Saturday, and we already have several scheduled, but we can schedule more. It is going to be a busy day, but that's okay. So you got to fill out our recruitment inquiry form at bit.ly slash mcrecruit. You can fill out the tryout form to schedule that tryout at bit.ly slash tryouts, and then join the Discord server, bit.ly slash discord. The QR codes are for all three of those links are up on your screen right now. You can screenshot it. They're also on the link tree that I was telling you about earlier. So you can fill out that information and then we will try to set up something. If you're not available this Saturday, uh, we will still have a few tryouts in March. And I think we have one in April, but then that's it. So you only got, after this Saturday, maybe three more opportunities to try out for an eSports scholarship. So definitely reach out if you are interested so that way we can get it set up. Because after that last trial in April, I don't think we'll be able to award uh, any more scholarships for the coming year. But All right. So uh, it looks like we're about to get started. Uh yeah, because Glenville State's in, and it looks like we're going to see uh, Kinko Dinku playing Dinko Kinko, Kinko Dinku, right? Yeah, yeah Kinko Dinku. That's what I thought. And he's going to be playing Roy, and it looks like we're going to see Wolf coming out for Glenville State. Oh, yeah. Yeah. The unfortunate thing is that uh, in previous matches, we haven't really done all that well against Wolf, so I'm a little bit nervous about that, but... I'm sure that Ryan, or sorry, Kinky Dinku can pull through on this. Yeah. We're already seeing Wolfgang some quite a few hits in. Oh yeah. But that's the thing about Roy though, he hits very hard, so one good hit with his sword and yeah. be right back into there it. There we go, nice combo. 
Yeah. Yeah, the, the wolf will have to look out for uh, his recovery, not recovery, um, his counter, as we just saw there. It's, I know uh, Kinky Dinku has been working very hard on getting the timing down for that. Yeah, we're just very close on percentage. We're at 70% oh, yeah. each, so this can still go any direction. Mm -hmm. uh, but just like that, Marietta does lose the first stock. Yeah. Very unfortunate timing there with the uh, side special. Yeah, he did try to go for the finisher, but it was just a little too early. Mm -hmm. yeah. Trying to anticipate Wolf's moves, but not getting anything. Yeah. It's oh, oh, there we go. Yeah. Just one good solid hit from Royal send anyone flying. So. Yeah, so now just a little bit behind on percent, so hopefully mm -hmm. he can try to get back at 57% already. Mm -hmm. He's got to get one good solid combo from right from Kinky Dinku and... Ooh, nice. Aw. Yeah, oh, well he's... Oh, oh. Tried to counter it, but was just not enough. Yeah. Okay, nice snap to ledge there. Yeah, and with that, it's going to lose oh, yeah. another stock. So down to his last one. Not able to get any hits onto Wolf after taking out one stock. Now he's starting to get some hits, but mm -hmm. he's going to have to play catch up. Yeah, Wolf's up smash is absolutely killer. Uh, as, as I know from experience. <laughs> yeah. But but every, every single bit of damage counts, so... Oof. Yeah, if he can get at least another stock off him, that would put... Uh, and a good position for the next game. Mm -hmm. But preferably try to do more than that, but let's yeah. see if we can at least get a, a stock off. Yeah. Ryan, uh, keep getting this wrong. Kinky Dinku very much excels in his grab combos. So as you saw with that, once he did get one, he managed to do very, oh, like a very, ma a very, I'm fumbling. So, yeah, you're doing uh, fine. Uh, but unfortunately that is going to be the first game so Kinkadinko is going to be out for game one, and Wolf only one stock down. So in the next game, uh, he will have to SD at the beginning. Mm -hmm. So it'll be a three versus two. So yeah. now we'll see who's going to play next. It looks like it's going to be Cheshire playing. Oh, yeah. uh, see, there's a question in the chat. We're on a three-minute delay, by the way. So if you ask a question, we might not answer it for like three minutes. If there's an age limit to scholarships, they're only available. There's not necessarily like an age limit, but it's only available for graduating high school seniors and uh, college transfers. So okay. if you're planning to attend Marietta College in the fall and you're not already enrolled, then you'd be eligible for the scholarship. Mm -hmm. All right. So I say what a name, though. Ooh, ooh, Master Six. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so Chester, he's going to be bringing out Bowser, and I know we, he's been talking about it after Bash, because he means Joker, but he's swapping to Bowser. Yeah, he used to play Bowser in the distant past, but uh, he started playing Joker um, as he liked both characters, and he figured he could um, get more of an advantage with Joker. However, seeing how the last four matches have gone, he decided that he'd try something a bit different just by switching to Bowser. Mm -hmm. So he's been working hard all week to unrest himself from that so we'll see how that goes this match okay and looks like they're gonna change up the music oh so what will it be yeah i feel like we need to have our we got channel points for the the channel but we don't really use them very well I feel like that we should have it something set up where the the chat can redeem channel points and that we have to change the music for the next game. Oh, that could be fun. Chat, what do you think? Would you pay channel points to have the team change the uh, music for the, the matches? I personally want to hear Coconut Mall. Pretty banging track. All right, so it looks like they've swapped sides. So let me uh, fix this real quick because Chester is going to be on the right side. So there's the first... Uh, SD, and I need to make sure I reset the uh, 
Actually, no, I don't need to reset the score. That's right. Okay, this All is right. correct. Ooh. Yeah. Bowser is very good with out of shield combos, especially with that, um, I believe it is up special. I guess that's his recovery. So, it's a very good out of shield option, as you can see. Fortunately, he is taking a lot of damage. Yeah, I think so. one of the biggest challenges here, I mean, Wolf is taking advantage of the fact that he is faster than uh, Bowser. Mm -hmm. so you're sorry, Bowser's already in that kill range. Yeah. The good thing about Bowser, though, is that despite his uh, immense size and slow speed, he's very good at getting hits off and making them count. So, only a few hits from Bowser and it'll send him. Yep, just There's like that. There's a nice hit there. Very solid hit. Yeah, he's slow, but he hits hard. Oh, yeah. But we see Wolf was able to take down one stock from uh, Cheshire. Mm -hmm. But still, if if Cheshire can get another stock off without losing his, that would put him in really good position in the next game. Oh, definitely. So let's see if he but can... But I'm confident if, if they do manage to get off this last stock just now, that'll certainly be... Uh, That'll set them up for success in the next match. Yeah, already trying to put out a lot of damage. Great combos there. there. Nice down nice. smash. Going for the F air. Forward air, sorry. Great read with the shield. But mm -hmm. we see Wolf trying to put some combos in. Oh, yeah. It's a good read from uh, Cheshire there. Yep. Oh, that was so close. Yeah, it, it, it's always very frightening to see uh, Bowser recovering, but Cheshire does know what he's doing. Yeah, so. nice move there. Try to go for the kill, and there he's going to get go. it. There we go. Yeah. And with only dropping one stock, that is going to put Cheshire in a pretty good spot in this next game. Mm -hmm. So now we'll see... Uh, what Glenville State is going to pick for their next match. Yes. And they'll also get a chance to cho uh, choose the map. Mm -hmm. And just for everyone who's wondering, we only have a certain set of maps that we can choose from. So it's not like you can just pick any of them. Of course, several of them would definitely not be fair for a, oh, an official not. match. Yeah, we actually have a running gag in uh, on the Smash team. There's this one stage called the Great Cave Offensive. But we always say it's the Great Cave Offends Me. Um, it is it's horrible to fight on. But, well, it's a good thing it's not a legal stage because that would not be fun for anyone, I don't think. Yeah, I don't think anyone would pick it. Yeah. Now we're just waiting for the picks. Getting some fist bumps in. They're getting hyped up. Oh, yeah. You got to keep that energy going throughout the entire match. Because, yeah, I mean, in a game like that, you have to be so focused. And, because, like, every move, every second matters. Mm -hmm. As I was saying before, every bit of damage um, matters in the long run. So you'll see with some characters, uh, they're called zoners. They'll use small projectiles that don't do a lot, but over time they really add up and it, it definitely helps in getting a kill. So, looks like they're going with the, the Kalo Serena this time, so. Alright, let me swap over to make sure the overlay is correct. Mm -hmm. There we go. This uh, chest is going to be on the left side this time. Yep. And they're going up against a Cloud. Yeah, Cloud is a very specialized main because it he very much specializes in uh, combo moves. Oh, uh, yep, and that's Ding once just for the stock matchup. All right. All right, emotes are coming out, everyone's yeah. ready, and here we go, next game. I'm already trying to use the blade to do that let zoning you were talking about just a mm -hmm. few seconds ago. Yeah. He does excel with that, though, and you can see with the uh, that yellow sword attack, um, you can combo that into a lot of things, so it makes Cloud a kind of scary opponent. Oh. Every time. Every yeah, time. I, I feel like we're seeing a heart attack every time that they're off the platform. Oh, yeah. So, 
Oh, and okay. a huge play there by Cheshire. Mm -hmm. yep. Just, so. That first stock is going to be very useful, especially for later matches. Yeah, and especially if they can put some pressure on and get a lot of damage out before losing a stock. Oh, yeah. And hopefully, oh, nice spot dodge there from Cheshire. It's very good to use those, especially when there's some strong attacks on coming, so. Oh. Oof. Almost got him there. Wow, that was close. We're getting a little bit of lag, but we should be back in a second. There we there go. There we are. Mm -hmm. Sometimes that happens with the NDI. Yeah. And Cheshire will lose one stock, so down to one. But mm -hmm. hopefully they can take down Cloud very quickly, already over 100% damage. Oh, yeah. I'm sure he can uh, pull back the stock leave and even it out. And that will do it, but it's not over yet, but a mm -hmm. great kill there. Yep, we've got it evened up just now. So, so this is going to get very close. Mm -hmm. Cheshire does specialize in his third stock, however. It's like he builds up, uh, it's like he charges up his power over time and lets it all out in this uh, last match. Although Cloud's going to try to build his limit break. Mm -hmm. The limit break is a very dangerous mechanic because while Cloud normally doesn't have very many kill options, once his limit is charged, his attacks become much more dangerous and lethal. So it's definitely good to make sure that if he has his limit break up, that he, uh, the attacks are avoided. Yeah, it's like that. That did a ton of damage. Oh. Uh, and Chessar will end up uh, getting taken out, but does take down uh, three stocks of themselves. So yeah. that does help a little bit. Mm -hmm. Gets him started for the next match. So I'm trying to see. I think maybe Inaba's gonna be next. Uh, could be. Unfortunately, you can't see them on the screen currently. Yeah. Well, that that's just kind of the unfortunate layout of uh, mm -hmm. the camera. But. Yep, Inaba is up next. Yeah, they love to play the the Min Min. Mm -hmm. So we'll see what stage uh, Marietta wants to play. Mm -hmm. So it does. Does Anava have a preference for a map, especially for something to utilize Min Min? Um, yes. Min Min is, uh, prefers no platforms, as most of their attacks are just straightforward punches. So, I would say Kalos Pokemon League would definitely be a good match uh, map for them, um, but Final Destination would be the most likely map that they would want to pick. Okay. Um, but most plat most stages that are legal do have platforms, so it's highly unlikely uh, they will get their optimal commit conditions. But it's still possible. So yeah, I think they're still talking over. Because mm -hmm. I don't remember exactly how the the pick and ban process works in between games. Are, are there any maps that are banned while they're after a game? Uh, it's I believe it. Well, it depends on who loses, and I'm not the best at this, but it looks like we're going with Pokemon Stadium 2, which interesting. isn't the worst for Inaba, so I'm sure that'll be good. But interesting to choose, I mean, it does have platforms. It does have platforms, but it makes up for it in the distance um, of the stage, because there's a lot, like Small Battlefield, for example, it does have the two platforms, but the stage distance is a lot smaller than on, like, Pokemon Stadium 2, uh, and... Min Min is very much focused in keeping a distance from their opponent. So, and here we go. So, Cloud will have to SD twice mm -hmm. in order to get this match good. So we'll see if Anava can take advantage of the range that Min Min has to get some mm -hmm. damage on the Cloud. Three, two, oh, these swap sides are... Go! Okay. Hold on. Let me... While SD, I'm going to get the overlay set up to make sure it's appropriate. Actually, no, it was right the- I was right the first time. I'm sorry, chat. <laughs> there we go. Alright. The only thing I'm really concerned about is how Cloud's projectiles is going to match with Min Min's punches. Because I don't actually know if those two can counter each other. I think it just did. Whoa. A nice grab from my Nava there. Oh yeah, nobody expects the fire breath from Min Min, so... 
That's certainly a good mix-up. Yeah, we're seeing Mimin getting some good damage on the cloud. Almost has his limit break, though. Yeah, so they will have to look out for that. Looks like Min Min has switched to Ball, though. Um, Min Min's main mechanic is that she has three weapon options, um, each having different effects, and the Ball is the most likely to uh, throw the opponent off stage. Okay, great so. read. The Limit Break does get used. Mm hmm So, it's very good for Inava, considering. Oof, almost got him there. Doesn't quite make the landing, however. Yeah, Nimmin's trying to go for the, the killing blow. One good hit, and Cloud will be out. He's mm -hmm. Ooh, We're on, the edge of the, we're on the edges of our seats right now. Mm -hmm. It seems like Limit Broke and, uh... I believe that's side... No, that's a neutral B. Um, yeah, it was about to do a lot of damage. Oh, yeah. Doesn't quite get countered by the uh, punches. Ooh, nice spike there, even if it wasn't offstage. Just needs one more good hit. And gets him out the with the recovery! Yeah. As I said, nobody expects the dragon fire. So. So Cloud is now eliminated. Mm -hmm. And I think Inaba only lost one stock. Yes, I Inaba only lost one, so. Yeah, so we see it. It's six to five. So it's still very close here. Very evenly matched between the, mm -hmm. the two teams. Yeah. You can tell the team is getting a bit hyped up with this, too. Even if we have. I believe we have another um, another round after this. Oh yeah, so. because you still have the weed yeah. to, as your anchor. Oh yeah, weed is the anchor. <laughs> yeah. So now Glenville State will get to choose, I believe Glenville State will get to choose the map. Mm -hmm. Right now, we are just kind of playing the, the waiting game until everyone is ready. Yep, yep. Seems like they're discussing their tactics for the, uh, ne the next match that's up and coming. Well, the challenge is they have no idea what they're going up against. Oh, yeah. So we did we did attempt to scout the other team, but they're very good about keeping uh, all of their things hidden. Although I think they're uh, a, are they a new team? I don't I don't know, especially since they it's part of Nace. Mm. There are hundreds of schools that are part of Nace, so it's really hard to tell which ones are brand new. Um, yeah, I mean maybe they just start out their Smash team because yeah, I, I don't know. So they, unless they have their matches like on Twitch or YouTube, it's kind of hard to tell what they play because yeah. like when you look at the um, the Nace score settings, you don't actually you see who played but not what they played. Yeah. But all right, so we are going to see hero. a hero. Ooh. Hero is a very tricky one. So this will be very interesting. Yeah, hero has. A ton of different abilities. Oh yeah. Yeah, so it's gonna have to SD once. Alright, and then the match okay. begins. So Yeah. You also gotta be worried about Hero's uh, basic magic attacks because while they see Monosubin due to his gimmick being a bit random, uh, RNG based, uh, they can still be very killer in combat. So Although a nice hit there by Min mm -hmm. onto the hero. Yeah. But we're seeing that MP drop it a little bit. Yeah. Well, try to go for a spell there. Did not get it off, though. I don't think that would have mattered too much, as Hatchet Man isn't uh, a particularly good one. I think the biggest things that, uh, ooh, heal. 
Oof. Oh, and uses that kaboom as the finisher. Yeah. Luckily, he he is pretty low on MP right now, though. That fire spell is still charged and stored for later. So. That is something that Ayanava will have to look out for. The biggest thing that they would want to look out for currently is just getting them down one stock, because this while right. Hero isn't particularly... Ah, oh, there we go. It's gonna be unfortunate, but... Yeah, I see where you're getting it, because now it is six to three mm -hmm. in the, the matchup, so it's gonna be up to the Wii to take down six stock with only three. Of... Yeah. I mean, not impossible, but it's yeah. gonna be very difficult. The unfortunate thing is that Hero does have very good projectiles, so if the Wii does pull out Little Mac like, uh, like he has for the past uh, few weeks, then he will not be doing very well in this match. Yeah, so he's gonna go straight for the little Mac. Mm -hmm. Slightly worrying, but I have faith in him. So, let's we'll see how this goes. He must feel pretty confident to be able to do that close combat against Hero. Mm -hmm. I have played Hero a few times, and typically what I try to do is go for the, um, the oomph and psych up, and then go for some physical attacks. Uh, but it seems like this hero does play it very differently than I, so... And I think that's just the thing with hero, because there are so many abilities that hero works with, there are different play styles of oh, yeah. how you want to use them. Especially because you would be able to switch up those play styles in the middle of the match, so... Very adaptable character. I'm seeing some requests in the chat for a Splatoon 3 tournament. Like, I wouldn't be against it. But I don't know what the turnout for that would be like. Yeah. We did try to do a, a Madden tournament last semester uh, in partnership with uh, the Inter Fraternity Council, but there was just not enough people to to actually run it, so they ended up having to, to cancel it. So yeah. if we... If we can find a tournament where there's a lot of turn turnout, which is why we're probably going to be looking at maybe a Smash tournament sometime in March, I think there would be a huge turnout uh, for it. All, All right. right. Here we go. We bring out that little back against the hero. We will see if we can take down six stock by himself. Mm -hmm. He was the MVP a few weeks ago, so I wouldn't be surprised at that. As most people don't really know how to play against Little Mac that well. Yeah, one of the things with Little Mac is although he can hit really hard, I think we've talked before in previous games, that his in-air abilities is very limited and oh, also yeah. limits his recovery. Yeah. The biggest weakness of Little Mac is getting him off stage. So. Try, tries to use the KO, not able to get the KO off. Yeah, gets very countered. unfortunate. Oh. And we see that weakness coming in. Mm -hmm. With the recovery, unfortunately. Yeah, and you can see Hero with the uh, oomph for Psych Up buff, which definitely won't be very good for uh, any physical attacks. Luckily, he is out of MP, however, so hopefully the Wii can take advantage of this. Listen, try, try to save Ooh, it nice forward. super armoring it there. And a nice counter from the weed. Wondering if... Oh! Great uppercut. Mm -hmm. It was a nice fake out with the side smash into the up smash, too. So. But it was not falling for it the second time, however. Let's try to charge up the... Ooh, does get nice the counter. Kill. Yeah. I think the best thing for Little Mac would be to anticipate the shields from the hero and instead go for a few uh, grab combos. Does land a, a hit there. He gets the KO. Now we see if we can try to land it. Mm -hmm. It would certainly be the best. Uh, Just not a... Fortunately whiffs it. But... 
That is hard to pull off. It is very difficult, but it, it raises the entire team's spirits when he does pull it off. Now down to his last stock. And they're all playing very defensively, utilizing their shields. Mm -hmm. Though, as we said, Little Mac does hit very hard, so he will have to be careful of getting his shield broken. Definitely not something you want to do in face of a Little Mac. Oh, so, yeah. Especially when you're down to your last stock. Oh, definitely. Oof. Almost get the side smash there. Uh, Gets the KO, but it's just not going to be enough. And with that, Glenville State will take the first game with five stock remaining. Very unfortunate, but... The good news is now that we know some of their uh, choices for mains, we can hopefully um, counterpick them just a little bit. Well, we'll see. I mean, that's assuming that they keep the same heroes. That they is may true. change it up a little bit because there is a fourth player that did not uh, play for Glenville State. So who knows where maybe they'll have that person start the next game. I know mm -hmm. they've got to set things up where they got to go over who's the starter for both teams first. And then again to play in it looks looks like Cheshire is going to be leading it off for the pioneers in this next match. Mm -hmm. Very strong lead, especially against that wolf. If they do decide to lead again, though, uh, we'll have no way of knowing this first time. Mm -hmm. Looks like we are changing the music. Yeah, I know we can't hear it yet just because we're waiting for. You know what? We'll just go ahead and get over there so we can hear what music they're going to play. So give me a second, everyone. We'll try that one. Oh. Really? Okay, there we go. Okay. That's, that's a little better. Okay. Yeah. It's not At hard. first, it's like, is this really what they're gonna go with? But... Yeah. I suppose that does it. It's a it's a defensive tactic. They're trying to uh, subvert the enemy's expectations and catch them off guard. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's certainly working on me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm caught off guard, that's for sure. <laughs> oh yeah, it's hard not to be. Not a horrible theme, though. Mm -hmm. And chat's saying you're doing a great job commentating the, uh, the match. Thank you, yeah, this is my first time, so I was a little bit nervous getting in here, but I'm glad to know I'm doing good. Yeah. Yeah, Ginger Ale here has been very kind to help commentate, uh, not competing in the uh, the match himself. So we're here to, to help kind of give some insight because if I tried to explain to what's going on here, it would just be, okay, that person got hit, that person got hit, that got yeah. KO'd. And I don't really, like, I know who the characters are, well, most of them, but I don't know what they all do. Yeah. I used to I used to be a, a Sheik main back in Melee. Ooh, yeah. I've pl I used to play Sheik a little bit um, back when I was first starting out. Very fun character, unfortunately doesn't have very many kill options. Um, but if you are skilled, that usually doesn't matter. Yeah. You cannot maneuver your opponent enough. To... Well, I thought Sheik was really good at melee just because of her speed, getting a lot of quick hits in, and then be able to smash. But wasn't as great in... Uh... The Wii and the uh, um, uh, yeah, and and the, the uh, Switch yeah. versions. So. I haven't. I've never played Melee before, but I know that the speed back then was uh, ri outright ridiculous. But I'm sure with Sheik, that would be a. Uh, it'd be d certainly a recipe for disaster, at least for your mm -hmm. opponents. Yeah, uh, especially like uh, Fox's speed was ridiculous. Oh, yeah. It had an insane in-air up smash kill. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. All right, so Cheshire is going to be playing the Bowser and. Glenville State's going to be bringing out Zero Suit Samus. Yeah. This is kind of a risky theme, at least. Not a risky theme, but a risky character, at least um, for Bowser, as I don't think he does very well with zoners. Um, but then again, Zero Suit Samus doesn't have as much defense, so any super large attacks from Bowser will send them flying. So... You're seeing one big hit, already talking about 20% of Samus's health. Mm -hmm. And it's back and forth on the damage, trying to go for that down smash. Yeah. But not gonna land. 
The biggest issue for the Samus right now is managing to kill Bowser because there is one thing about him. He is very chonky, very thick. It's very difficult to actually get a kill on him, especially when you have uh, when you don't have as much power as you know as Bowser. But, but we're gonna still say, we stop. will lose the first stock. Yeah. But Mason does pull it back immediately. However. and forth a little bit and trying to respond to the, the idea of the Splatoon 3 thing maybe for like we have talked before about trying to do maybe like a casual stream once a week where we just play a game for fun so I could see like maybe like one evening maybe like a Friday night when we don't have a match and we just do some casual Splatoon yeah. for fun that, yeah, the, I would not be opposed to it. Yeah, the most unfortunate thing, however, is that not everyone on the Smash team has Splatoon. So it, I don't really know that much about how the multiplayer for that works, but it would be a little bit different. I think there is local co-op. Ah, okay. That would be good. But we see here, oh. Samus getting a lot of damage into Bowser. Gonna yeah. take out another stock. So as you were kind of saying before, like that zoning advantage that Samus has, mm -hmm. and getting a lot of hits in the air as well, making it a little difficult for Cheshire to, to mm -hmm. land some hits. Very fast, yes. But that was a great up smash, but just not enough to knock Samus off the field. Mm -hmm. And that oh. is going to take down Cheshire, only taking out one stock on Samus. Yeah. Those air combos were, uh, outrageous. <laughs> and that's something that Marion is going to have to respect, because they, oh, don't, yeah. they don't want to bring in something that's going to struggle in the air. So, like, but I say that, no one looks like uh, the weed is going to be played next. And if he's going to bring out Little Mac, which you're going to... That could be a problem against Samus. Yeah, that's a very risky maneuver. Uh, kind of questioning their decisions a little bit, but I'm sure they've worked it out together as a team as to why. But that's just something we'll have to see how they react to. Okay. We'll see what map uh, the weed wants to play on. Mm -hmm. He, like Min Min, definitely prefers a field with no platforms, but it's very difficult to uh, utilize, so basically anything will really do, as uh, Little Mac has shown proficiency on some stages with the, uh, with the platforms. All right, so they're still going things, going over things. Yeah, it looks like they're talking with the other team at the moment. Is it maybe Battlefield? Perhaps. No, I know he. I know uh, Little Mac definitely wouldn't like that, as that third platform in the middle kind of mm -hmm. it exceeds his range. Yeah. The thing that's going to be challenging is Samus is going to try to get a little back in the air as much as possible. Oh, yeah. can't really do a whole lot in that air. Especially with what we saw in the previous match with those air combos. Mm -hmm. So. I know it's not Minecraft World. It's not even on the list. Yeah. Okay. Be It'd be very funny if it was. It looks like it's going to be Kalos. Mm -hmm. Which is a pretty decent one for uh, for Little Mac, considering the amount of stage that the amount of flat stage he has in, well, the platforms are kind of on the sides, so less threatening from above. Now we're just waiting for Bethel State to get ready. And here we go. Alright. So we'll see if the weed has a strategy against Samus. Mm -hmm. 
So we'll have to SD once. Tries to go for the quick uppercut. Doesn't mm -hmm. quite land. Yeah. It looks like Samus is trying to stay in the air for this time, which makes sense considering that's one of her strengths. Yeah, trying to stay in the air, trying to use ranged abilities because the little Mac has to be in your face to do damage. Mm -hmm. A nice shield on the, um, the taser whip there. When Little Mac does that charged um, punch attack, while it does take a lot to actually use, uh, he mostly uses it just for the super armor, which means he can take a few hits before um, it breaks his... Uh, it, uh, I guess it breaks his stun. Yeah, KO meter is up. Yeah. Hopefully he can land that KO punch. Ah, does not, unfortunately. unfortunately. It's a couple jabs in. Mm -hmm. Ah, that's going to get taken. Fortunate ledge guarding from the Samus there. And yeah, we're just seeing Samus wailing a bunch of combos onto Little Mac. Oh yeah. Just gonna be waiting for that smash yeah. to land. That does happen on occasion where you're just waiting for the opponent to do something. And we're just seeing as the KO meter comes in, Little Mac gets taken out. Yeah, this is a really unfortunate spot for uh, the weed. Has to try at least get another ah. stock out before getting eliminated. Almost got that second one out there, but fortunately the timing was a bit off. seeing the Oof. combos coming in for Samson. That recovery... Oh. Uh, and that's, that's just unfortunate. So yeah, Samus was able to take down Little Mac without losing a single stock. Mm -hmm. So that's going to be a challenge. Uh, I don't know if Inava or Kinkadinko is going to be coming up next. It, hmm. It's looking like it... Looks yeah, like I, it is Kinky Dinky this time. And you can you can tell the frustration there. Yeah. So we'll have to see how well Roy can do against the uh, the Samus matchup. Seems like they're still discussing their uh, map choices so far. Yeah, looks like they're still talking it over. I know it's not going to be Frigate. It's not on the list. No. I'm guessing they're just going around the list just just for fun. So what do you think about the the matchup with, with Roy and uh, Zero Suit Samus? Um, honestly, most of the characters that the team plays doesn't do very well against zoners. Um, and while 
Roy does have to be up in in the opponent's face, though not as much so as the Little Mac, and he does have a counter um, that is pretty good. So honestly, I want to say it's evenly matched, but I'm sort of leaning towards Samus here, which is very unfortunate. But it looks like we're going Battlefield this time. So. Luckily, Roy is pretty good at maneuvering through platforms, so it'll be sort of good for that. All right, we'll see about that matchup. It, Samus will have to SD once, but mm -hmm. we'll see if Roy can take down the remaining two stock. Because it is right now 11 to 6 in team stock, level State having the advantage. Yeah. Let's we'll come out, so here we go. We've seen the first hit being landed by Samus and putting in a lot of combos. Oh, yeah. So, Roy, once he does get one combo off, he usually can chain it into a few others. Ooh, a nice neutral air from him. Uh, Kinky Dinku has been practicing that uh, that attack very hard, as it usually is very difficult to punish. Unfortunate stock loss there, however. It gets Samus 2 down 70%. Mm -hmm. Samus looking for that long distance smash. Seen Sandwich putting in all the, the combos. Oh. Great smash there! Yeah, great counter there from uh, Kinky Dinku. That is one of his strong suits. Oh, we we're little just bit seeing of lag. It. It's just a little bit of a lag. Yeah, hopefully we'll see what's going on here soon. Oh. Okay, we're losing. Not sure what, what is going on here. We're losing the video. I'm gonna see what's going on real quick and see what happened with the video. We can still hear the audio. And I'm gonna yeah. guess. Yeah. Let's see here. Well, we have lost the game a little bit. Uh, I'm pretty sure it'll come back here soon, however. Uh, just a little bit of technical difficulty is I'm sure it will be resolved soon. So. Oh, sound is back, which is definitely a good sign. Yeah. You can hear uh, Roy doing some combos in the back there. We've lost the sound again. Yeah. It's very unfortunate that this is happening. Oh! It's, oh, well, that's a very unfortunate loss for uh, Marietta College, but I'm sure we can pull it back just a little bit with uh, the oncoming Min Min. So. Okay. Welcome back. Uh. All right, we apologize for that. Uh, OBS on the other computer cra uh, crashed or salt or something. Yeah. Uh, but they did get the uh, one stock off of oh, that's, Samus. That is very good. That's very good. Yeah. But, but it's still going to be an uphill battle where oh, it's definitely. just Inava versus 10 stocks for Glenville State. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think they're just going to go with as much damage as, as they can do to the other team in this time. It's just very unfortunate that we don't really have that much tech against zoners. So. Yeah, so they're going to have to find a way to at least try to get that last stock off of Samus to at least yeah. get to the next fighter. Mm hmm.
But yeah, apologize for the uh, little glitch during the, the match. I've never seen the OBS and the uh, capture card software lock up like that before. Yeah. Which is fine, because we had it running all, like, for good, yeah, good six hours on Tuesday and didn't have a single hiccup. Yeah. Well, that's all right. Yeah, it happens. Yeah. I mean, it's what they say. We love technology until it stops working. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Luckily, it was a pretty easy fix, it seems. Oh, yeah, it was. But yeah, while we are waiting, um, shout out to Evangelos with the Prime Gaming sub. Thank you so much for that. Mm -hmm. So, as a reminder, I mean, even though the day of giving has passed, there are still different ways to help support our esports program including subscribing to our channel. Now, if you're not in a position where you can uh, pay for a sub, but you have Prime Gaming, there is, or Amazon Prime, there is Prime Gaming. Yeah. Where all you do is create a free Twitch account, link it to your uh, Amazon Prime account by going to gaming.amazon.com, and that will give you uh, Prime Gaming, which gives you all sorts of perks, such as in-game items for different games or free games, and a sub that you can use for any channel of your choice. You just have to do it every 30 days. And what do you get with that sub? All sorts of goodies like emotes and instant access to revods. But let's get back in here. It is going to be Min Min versus Zero Suit Santa, Santa Mess. Yeah. And I would like to thank ShepDog74 for the follow. I don't know if we do that sort of thing for the follows. but Some follows. We definitely give a try to give shouts to subs. But yeah, yeah. thank you all for the, the follows as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But, all right. So all it right. is going to be match point for Glenville State. So mm -hmm. can Anima take down one stock for Zero Suit Samus? Yeah. Seems like Anima so far has gotten pretty good damage off on Samus, which is very good. However, we are aware that uh, Samus's combos are pretty killer. So yeah, we're just seeing that relentless onslaught by Zero Suit Samus. Oh yeah, a nice shield there from Min Min, which is very good. Oh, oof. Yeah, grounding combo into, uh... I believe that is Samus's recovery? I, I've, I don't really play Zero Suit Samus that much, so... Yeah. I'm not too well aware. I'm sure uh, Cheshire is going to get on me for my lack of knowledge in the future. It looks like we're getting a little bit of an audio desync, which can happen with the NDI, so... Yeah. We'll... We'll still comment what's going on with what we see. The computer that is uh, reading this Smash stuff might be acting up. Yeah. Ooh. Nice way of avoiding the uh, back to stage combos there from the Samus. So a lot of up smashes coming out oh, for yeah. Samus. Oh yeah. If I were Inava, I would most likely go to the uh, the ledge to try and get back from that sort of thing, but that's just something we'll have to work on in our practices. Uh, Samus is at 106%, mm -hmm. so we'll see if Inalva can get a killing blow. Yeah. It would certainly be a good morale booster for the yeah. team. Oh, Great hit! Yeah. There you go! Nice kill from Inalva. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so one stock and a dream. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Alright, it is not over yet, folks. So now we're going to see what we, what map we'll be playing and what the character will they be going up against. Your guess is as good as mine. Oh, yeah. It could be one of the previous contenders we've seen, or it could be an entirely new one. They like to keep things a bit tricky with that sort of thing, so... We'll just have to wait and see. Yeah. So as a reminder, uh, just to kind of give an idea of the schedule in the next couple of days, we don't have a, a graphic for it up, but as we said earlier, there will be some more Super Smash Brothers on Saturday as the Pioneers will be going up against Bethel University at 10 a.m. Eastern Time and then going up against Mount Vernon Nazarene University at 11 a.m. And then in the afternoon, our Overwatch team will be playing against, I believe it's Alma at one o'clock. 
I'm losing track now. <laughs> uh, let me think here. Is it all oh, the... Oh, I can tell you in just a minute. Mm-hmm. Got it all on my Discord. Yeah. And who's pinging me on Discord? Uh, let's see here. Oh, I'm sorry. The Overwatch League people will be playing against Mount Vernon Nazarene at 2. So we played Mount Vernon twice on uh, Saturday. Oh, boy. Uh, Smash will be playing them at 11. And then Overwatch will be playing them at 2. And then Overwatch will be playing against uh, Alma at 3 o'clock. And then they'll be playing against... And our League of Legends team will be playing against Truman State at 5.30 p.m. Not 4 o'clock. Oh, looks like we're selecting our stage. It is Kalos Pokemon League once again. Alright. And, oh, we're going up against Hero this time. Yeah. A very unfortunate matchup for Min Min, but the most important thing is that uh, they will be trying their best in this match. So. Just trying to get some clarification mm-hmm. out. But Alright, so we're going to see how they do against the Hero, and I need to update the overlay to make sure it's the right uh, spot. There we are. Yeah, down to one stock. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, the most important thing about fighting a hero is making sure that he doesn't have enough time to charge up those spells, so... Just a little thing we'll have to go over with Inava later on. Yeah, it has full mana, so it can use just, well, pretty much full mana. Yeah. So we'll see what he tries to, to use. Going for that big bang. Mm-hmm. Oh, Psych Up. Psych Up is a very strong um, buffing move. I'm pretty sure it only boosts his physical attack power, um, which would make it easier to get Min Min off stage with a physical attack. But, well, I don't know that much about him, so. We'll just have to wait for that. Ooh, nice parry from Min Min there. Um, oof. Let's go for down smash. Doesn't quite connect. Gear is gonna go for. I go for the kill. Already at 104 percent, and a big hit. Not out just yet. Try to stay in there. It gets frozen. Mm-hmm. For a moment there, I really thought they were considering using Kamikaze, which is a move that, while doing a ton of damage to the opponent, it would also uh, kill um, kill Hero. But that wouldn't matter, Glenn, for State, because they just need to take yeah. out one stock and they win the match. Mm-hmm. Oh, a big and hit, and that, is that, game. that will do it. Mm-hmm. So with that, the Pioneers will fall. Uh, zero to nine. But, I mean, there's some good matchup. I think the, the challenge was just the the actual compositions of some of the matchups. It, yeah. it seemed like, like, I know the team has been trying to try out different things, like Chester has been bringing out Bowser, but it just seemed like the fights, unfortunately, that they were in had a disadvantage from the get-go. Yeah, it's unfortunate. We don't really... We don't have a zoner on the team, which uh, is a very unfortunate situation because we don't have uh, the capacity to really practice on effective zoners, unless we go online, of course. But at, at that point, it's just up to RNG who we fight. Mm-hmm. So it's a yeah, it's it is a very unfortunate thing that we don't have that much experience with that type of fighter. But that's all right. He still played mm-hmm. uh, the very best. So thank you guys for watching. Let's give a shout out to Peyton here <laughs> oh. for commenting. You did an amazing job. So thank you, thank you for coming you. To, to help out. <laughs> but that is going to be it for us tonight. We did say earlier that we have more stuff coming to you on Saturday starting at 10 a.m. So set an alarm clock if you have to. So that way you can see this team perform once again. Oh, yeah. So for all the latest updates with Let's Go with Marion College Esports, please be sure to follow us on Twitch, Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, and TikTok. Shout-outs again to HyperX and Over the Moon Pizza for their support. Thank you all for your follows. Thank you for your subscriptions and your gifts. We hope you enjoy.